your small business consultant I'm back with another video today I want to talk about uh, important things we need to do in our business to keep it uh, growing flourishing and making sure that we're doing the right things in our business and as a business owner the first thing you must really get good at is writing selling proposals uh, writing your content, telling people about what you do, and so they can get to know you. Uh, as you already know, we always talk about people do business with those who they like, know, and trust. So, but the thing is, when you're trying to get started, you don't know what you don't know. So, I had been working on a few things that I really want to talk about with helping small businesses to get to the next level all right so one thing you have to do is start your business journal right you got to be document everything so you know what you're doing right what you're doing wrong and how to fix it you can't fix it if it's not documented so i found a really good book um let me look at the book okay get clients now this is the book that i've been using would uh writing my blog posts when attending a networking event when i'm you know when i have to go out and speak at uh speak at the speaking engagements or if you're a keynote speaker or if it, you know there's different steps you need to take when um you are doing that so what i wanted to do is just start this video off with um, talking a little bit about the book and how it helped me with getting the networking events. So what am I going to the networking event for? Is to meet either team and partners, to meet uh, contracting officers, program managers. Um, it's to connect with prime contractors to see if they're looking for subcontractors because as I maybe have said before in other videos, my main focus was to always be a subcontractor. I never really had the desire to be a prime contractor. And for those that want to focus on being a prime contractor, there are so many uh, consultants out there, programs out there for those who want to primarily focus on prime contracting. Basically, they are the same, but they're different steps. And the sales cycle is a little bit shorter. And to be a prime contractor, you know, it's 12 to 24 months to work with agencies and government because they want to get to vet you. They want to know you. They want you to have past performance. They want you to have been worked on same or similar projects. So that is all added into the sales cycle of working with an agency uh with dod department of army uh department of navy department of you know the u.s air force and so forth and so on or the navy but when you are a subcontractor you are working for the prime contractor and the prime contractor is the one who's working directly with the government so what you when you're a subcontractor who is your focus the prime contractor you providing them you uh educating them on what you do what core services you have what all the things that you have done to make yourself successful and to put you on the team why should they work with you why should they invest their reputation their brand everything to work with your organization so I found two great books to get you started, but you can also use these books if you're a prime contractor, you just change who your audience is. Uh, you build a different audience. But my focus is for uh, small businesses trying to get started to learn how to do business with a prime contractor, other small businesses doing teaming arrangements because I feel that that is the foundation because you don't have past performance. You win this big contract with a government agency. Now you expect it to perform. Say you want a five-year contract. That's a base and four options, right? So now you have to perform on that contract basically for five years. It's not guaranteed, but basically 
uh, you have that contract. Now, how about you weren't ready? How about you didn't have the staff? And so basically you're stressing yourself out for those five years. And then uh, you get terminated on the contract. Then now you've messed up your reputation, your name, everything, because you could not perform a contract at that level and you was not ready. So that's why we always start you off I believe in starting off as a subcontractor. So you just, you know, now you have another established business and then you have a organization that can help you do the work. So that way they're doing 51% and you're doing 49% or they're doing 60% and you're doing 40% of the work. It depends on what the contract says. So always go by what the contract says. Uh, for the because for the subcontracting plan, there's different requirements for that. But the basically, I you know the video was all about getting your marketing. This is basically you marketing your business, and you have to market. They're not gonna know who you are. It there the the the, uh, the landscape is very vast. So you have to be able to market. So the first book is Get Clients Now by C.J. Hayden. And it's been, it's a 28 day marketing program for professionals, consultants, and coaches, right? And then you have the workbook. She created a workbook as well, the one page marketing plan. And it's a very good workbook. She shows you how to build a six month marketing plan to sustain your success will get clients now system. So I purchased both books because I wanted to see how it worked for my business. And it's done, it's done a very good job because I was able to get my blog, uh, started back. I started back in 2016 because I've been doing this for a while and I've had her books for a while, but I wanted to make sure the program worked and, and then be able to give the results, how it worked for me. And then talk a little bit about all the things there's, you know, some of the struggles that we go through as a small business and then developing all the different things to make it more successful. So in her book, she talks about just, you have to focus on core things and know what core things you need to set up. And that's to, you got part one talks about really setting up the system, you know, the setup. First, what all you need to set up. Then it went on into the system, part two. And then it went on in part three, gave you so many strategies. And these strategies were very pivotal in my success and, and building my pipeline so I can have steady business. And steady, and steady business equals steady cash flow because if you're not making money, how can you pay your bills? How you can you pay payroll? How can you do the things you need to do to scale? So the foundational principle is first getting the system set up so that way you can implement, track, and measure. So this book was definitely very key into my success and then building my website and then going into networking events and then going to the speaking engagements and so forth that she lays out in the book but what i liked about it all is she broke it up in parts she told you how to set it up first then gave you a system and then gave you plenty of strategies because you need to customize it for your business every business is different every business have different functions core capabilities um you need to set it up for your bit oh, and the person building the business is different so me i'm very extrovert i can be introvert but i'm an extrovert so i love going to networking events and then you might have the introvert who don't who doesn't they prefer to just do blog posts or do email campaigns or whatever their core nature is. And I don't mind speaking at speaking engagements, but that is not my top one. The, you know, And that's what she teaches you, how to go in there and pick out the recipes that is for your business. And so I will be visiting this book more in, in a, basically like a series. 
and how I put my system in place. But it's going to take a little time because I want to make sure that when I record videos, there's the action. So there's an activity or exercise that you can do to implement in your business quickly. That's why I like to keep the videos short. We st we're only talking about one topic in the video and then execute. That is the most important thing you have to do. Once you gather or get the information, now you need to apply it. So application. So in the book, we'll be going over. So uh, stay tuned, uh, check on my blog post because it's going to be a series. And the first one I'm going to cover er, is networking because I do so much networking and I believe networking is critical to a small business because that's where you find your team and partners, your prime contractors, other small businesses, and even meeting the contracting officers, program managers, and so forth and so on. And so I recommend that you buy the book so we can walk through the book together. I'll uh, put in the link description, uh, the books, uh, the link descriptions will be in the uh, article. So that way you can just click on it and support this channel because uh, I am in affiliate marketing program. So that way I don't have to um, charge people for my businesses. That's why I, I uh, love the affiliate marketing too because it allows me to make these videos for free and be able to provide content and then things that I used in my business because when you are a new business or a small business, the capital is so important. So you need to be able to find the resources at an affordable price for your business. So the Get Clients Now uh, book and then the Get Clients Now workbook. I will link them in those descriptions and then be looking out in about two weeks, two to three weeks, I'll have the article post on my blog post on how to use the system. It's like a little summary, you know, giving a book summary, then telling you how to use the program. And then you go in there because she's already told you how to customize it. She's done a wonderful job on showing you how to customize it and how I customize mine. And I'm just going to give you an example. But then you go in there and create your system for your business so that way you can keep the pipeline full keep steady having conversations with the program officers uh prime contractors other small businesses your team and partners and it's well written all right so i don't want to make the video very long but i just wanted to just give you this update on the new series that i have about putting your marketing plan together putting everything in and just do one thing at a time do one thing at a time. If you try to do too many things, you're going to be overwhelmed and frustrated. So only focus on building one, select one recipe. Now in her book, I believe she, I remember she said select three recipes, but I started off one at a time because when I tried to do three or four, then I was confusing the recipes. I was uh, becoming overwhelmed and then um, I wasn't able to ever them. So then you have your assistant or your other teeny partner doing it and they became overwhelmed. So it's best to start off with one recipe at a time, get that down pack and then move to the next one. And before you know it, you've completed a whole campaign. So it's just moving one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time, and then move to the next one. So be on the lookout, subscribe to the channel, uh, I'm going to keep continuing to get videos out to you. I, sometimes I'll be able to get one out to you this month or sometimes twice, depending on, um, you know, how it goes, what life happens and what work life balance. And that I practice what I preach. So if I'm telling you work life balance, then therefore um, I need work life balance. And I know there's a lot of people reaching out for help and needing help and guidance that's why we're providing these videos out here for you so you can watch the videos uh, because only one person can't do everything so because you have to build the business you have to provide management and oversight and you so you can't do everything but you got to focus on the core things and that is marketing your business and business development and proposal writing so stay tuned subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video
Bye now. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. If you have any questions and experience to share, please leave a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.